Ever since ethanol was introduced into the fuel system, we've all had problems with water getting into our fuel. We've seen it in our lawn mowers, we've seen it in our outboards, and of course the worst thing that can possibly happen is if the water works its way through your system, hits the fuel filter, and then hits your engine when you're out in the middle of the bay somewhere. So how do you prevent it? Most of us have taken to using one type of fuel additive or another. Some of these absorb the water, some of them push it through the system, sort of break it down and allow it to burn through, and some contain alcohol, which in fact, some people say, can help absorb more water from moisture in the air. So the question is, which additive should you use? Well, there's a new and interesting one here. It's called Formula X2. Now this is a new one to me, and you may have noticed they are a Fish Talk advertiser. So when they asked me, you know, would I cover them editorially, I said, well, you know, I really need to do some testing and find out for myself, see for myself exactly what happens when you put this stuff into your fuel, because they make a pretty big claim. They say there's no alcohol in here, but this Formula X2 will literally eliminate all water in the fuel. Let's put it to the test. I have a couple jars here. One of the X's is going to be our uh, sample that we do not add any X2. And then we're going to test it for water. So that's one. There's our scientific control, right? Now we'll fill jar number two with gasoline. This is fresh out of the gas station. I just went and filled up this can literally moments ago. One more in there. Okay, now we have some fresh clean water. Put a half an ounce into this fuel. Put the cap on a little too quick here on this one. Whoops. That's not the control. That's the control. Okay. You can see the layer of water laying at the bottom. We're going to add an identical amount of X2. Now, the folks at X2 say that this happens pretty darn fast. In fact, in a matter of seconds, not minutes. So let's see what happens here. All right, it's been about five minutes. I moved up a little closer to give you a better view. The, the jar with the X2, I think against the blue shirt, you can see there's no water line. Whereas the control, you can still see that water line. See that, that water line right there at the bottom? There's still water in there. There does not appear to be in the X2. But we're gonna take this test one step farther. I've got a little trick up my sleeve. This is color cut. It's a water detection paste. And what I'm going to do is put a strip of it down the side of this little tongue depressor here. You see the color, right? Now the X2, let's see, that's our control. Here's our X2 jar. We're going to dunk it all the way to the bottom, pull it back out, and we see no change in the paste. That's good. That should mean no water. No change in the paste at all. Now just to see, we're now going to try it in the control, which we know has water. We can see it. All the way down to the bottom. Yep, and the paste turns red. Hopefully you can see that reddish color coming out in the paste. If I tilt it, you'll probably see it even more. But it is, it is definitely changing color. It's getting red. Let's try for a close-up here, see if I can do this without getting all blurry. 
See how the paste has turned from brown to red. That's indicating that the water is in there, which it did not do at all with the X2. So that's mighty interesting. Now, what does all this tell us? Does this tell us that X2 is the, the best fuel additive inv invented since uh, sliced bread? I can't say that, I don't know that. But their big claim is it contains no alcohol and it completely eliminates water in the fuel system. As far as that goes, we can verify it right here, right now. It's true.